Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's training. My name is Angela Carter Tyson, and if you are here for the training on how to become a top recruiter, then you are in the right place. So as I am getting ready to pull up our slides so we can get right into the content, I want you to go ahead and put in the comment section below this video. Um, um, a top recruiter, then you are in the right place. Here. So I want to make sure that um, for those of you who just happened on, be sure to put in the comment section below this video your name and where you're tuning in from so that way I can say hello to you as I pull up our slides here so we can get right into the content. So give me one second here. So as, as I'm getting started, go ahead and put, if you scroll down the page below the video, you'll see a little box, a white box. And um, you can go ahead and put your name and where you're tuning in from so I can say hello to you. But if you're here tonight to learn how you can become a top recruiter in your company, no matter what company you're, you are promoting, how to go from where you are today, from this moment, and be able to become one of the top recruiters in your company, hit the leaderboard, be able to speak on stage, hit a full-time income, then that is what you're going to learn tonight. You Not only are you going to hear how I specifically did it, but how I've helped other people do it in their specific company. So you're going to hear the strategy it's the strategy that every top recruiter has used to go from a newbie to being a top leader in their company. And so you're going to learn that, but you're also going to see stories and results of people who have done it in their company, ranging from travel. Um, you're going to hear see people who are in Mary Kay. Um, what else? Other companies. Uh, five links. Wide range. You're going to hear a lot of their stories tonight. So let me go ahead and pull up our slides here so we can get going. And then I'll check here in a minute for uh, comments from those of you guys who are on here so I can say hello to you. So let's just give me one second. All right, so let me check and see if anyone here has comments so I can say hello to you. So this is live. This is live. This is not recorded. So let's see. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So let me pull up my slides so we can get going. All right, so you should see on the screen how to go from a newbie to a top recruiter in your home base business. So let me just first of all make sure that you know that you're in the right place because I'm not a believer in wasting your time I'm not a believer in providing fluff training that doesn't provide real actionable strategies that you can apply immediately in your business because I don't like my time being wasted I don't like hopping on a, a webinar or a hangout and you know you spend 30 minutes 40 minutes you look up and you look at the clock and you realize okay I haven't learned a single thing so my goal tonight if you've seen any of my YouTube videos if you've ever seen any of my content online you know I deliver the goods, right? I, I'm here to give you things that have been proven, time tested, that you can apply immediately inside of your business. So first, let me just make sure that you're in the right place. So if you're someone who is fiercely loyal to your company, some people may think that you're obsessed with your company because you love your company, you love your company's products, you know without a shadow of a doubt that your company is the best company, and if you have a vision of building a big organization, so you're not someone who, someone I just want to make a little part-time income, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Nothing wrong with that. That's the great thing about our industry is you can kind of set your own goals. But for me, my focus is helping people who actually want to build it big, who want to be able to get to a full-time income and work full-time from home like I am. People who want to get to six figures. So if your vision is that, then you're in the right place because that is what these strategies are going to teach you tonight. If you're here to kind of just, you know, if your focus or your vision is to just kind of do something on the side, part-time, then my recommendation to you is to really find someone who, you know, really has a focus of that. So this particular training may not be for you. Um, but if you're someone who wants to build something full-time, get to a full-time income, be able to walk away from your job, that's what the focus of this is going to be for tonight. If you're committed in your company, right? So you're not just someone who's playing with it. You're not someone who is just kind of dibbling and dabbling, but you're someone who's committed. Like you're actually going to all your company events. If you're actively marketing your business every single day, even if you're not getting the results that you want, but you're active. Like you're not just saying you're in a company and you're really not doing anything. You haven't talked to anybody. Then that's, this is not for you. But I, I really want people here tonight who are actually trying to do something in their business and trying to make something happen, but it's just the results are not coming um, the way that they want them to. 
And if you're someone who's, you have tunnel vision, you're like, look, I don't want to hear about another system. I don't want to promote any other thing. I just want to promote my company. Can you just show me how to promote my company? That's who I'm interested in working with and talking to and training. So if you are building multiple companies, if you want to you know, build another system in addition to your company, I am not the mentor for you. you I would recommend that you get off this training now and go find someone else. Right? There's plenty of great and awesome mentors who can teach you how to build that way, but my focus is working with people who only want to promote their company and not another system. Okay, So just saying that, that's just kind of my way of making sure that the right people are on here tonight. Okay, So let me share with you real quickly here uh, my story if you don't know. I got started in the home-based business industry in 2010. When I got started in 2010, um, I was a licensed attorney. I'm still licensed in the state of Texas. I don't practice law anymore. That's a beautiful thing. From what I'm going to teach you guys tonight, I was able to walk away from an unfulfilling career in law to build, being full-time in my business, uh, in my home-based business. But um, I graduated from the University of Texas School of Law in Austin, Texas in 2008, right when the economy took a downturn. And I was, I say fortunate uh, in air quotes, like I was fortunate to find some level of employment, but it was actually temp temporary employment. Um, what I mean by that is I was hired by a company for different projects. So when there was projects available, they would hire me, but then when the project ended, uh, my employment ended. <laughs> so it was kind of unstable work. And I forgot to mention that I had $220,000 in student loan debt. So having unstable employment is not good for somebody who has that amount, a significant amount of debt. The student loan lenders, especially if you have private student loans, like some of them, I have some private student loans, they don't care if you're unemployed, they don't care if you're homeless living in a van down by the river, they, they have no sympathy for you. They still want their money, right? So for me, I wanted to be able to not only work from home, but I also wanted to be able to pay my student loan debt off and have stable income because I knew I could not put my financial freedom in the hands of an employer that could fire me, let me go, or whatever, because I have that debt that I'm on the line for. So I got started in the industry in 2010 because one of my friends from college was actually in a company. Uh, I saw a post that she did on Facebook. I was one of those nosy people on Facebook. I checked out her page, and I saw she was marketing this product. I'm like, how is she marketing this? Like, I had no clue about network marketing. I didn't know anything about this industry. Um, and so I was clueless, of, like, how was she marketing this product? And that's when I discovered that she was in a network marketing company. I got started as a as a as a uh, as a customer first. And once I got started as a customer, and I started realizing how much money people were making in this industry, I knew this was the ticket for me to be able to get debt free. And not only get debt free, just be able to work from home and do work that I love. And so I thought, well, I passed the Texas bar exam. This can't be that hard. I'm willing to learn. I've been learning. I've been a student all my life, it felt like at that point. So if they just show me what to do, I'm willing to do it. Some of you guys probably felt that way too. Like, look, I'm willing to learn. Just show me what I need to do, and I'll get to work. <laughs> so I was shown what to do, but it was things like inbox all my family and friends on Facebook and let them know about this great business I was in and to invite them to this online home virtual webinar party that I was doing to share about this exciting business that I was in. Okay, so that's what I was told to do. I did it and none of my family and friends showed up, right? Not even to a webinar, not even to, like this wasn't even a home party. I was asking them to come to my house. I was asking them from where they were at to get on and they still didn't show up, right? So that was the beginning of the struggle. You see the lady here pulling her hair out. That's how I felt for the first two years in this industry because for the first two years in this industry, I only recruited five people in two years. Yes, five. And it got to the point, I went online, like some, a lot of you did, and I was like, look, how do you make this work? Like, how can I get, some, how can I have some level of results? Like, my upline's telling me, just expose two people a day, and I couldn't even get two people to take a look at my business. So, I went online for answers because I'm not a lazy person. I'm not. I'm somebody who's driven. I want to succeed. I know the people that I love working with are the people who are like that. Who are like, I'm not lazy. I actually want to build this. I, I want to get to work. I just want to know what to do, and I want it to work. And so I went online, and I saw all these online marketing people who were like, Oh, you know, if you just use our system, we'll teach you how to, you know, generate, you know, uh, leads for your business. And so I got started in a lead generation system. And I generated some leads, but 
what I couldn't figure out and what I couldn't get was how the system was actually building my business because I wasn't told to promote my business on the front end. I was told to promote the system. And I'm like, no, I want to promote my business. So that's why I did my little spiel at the beginning of this, that if you want to promote a system, great, awesome, that's wonderful, but that's not what I teach. Because I remember for me, when I got started in this industry, I just wanted to learn how can I just build the thing that I got into. Right, so some of you guys, if you agree with that, if you're like, yes, Angela, that's what I want to know, that's what I'm looking for, put in the comment section below this video, yes, like you're speaking to me, that's what I wanted. So I got to the point where after trying all this online marketing stuff and not getting any results and building a system instead of my business, uh, I quit. I was like, you know what, I can't do this. And so what I did was, I said, you know what, I don't trust these online people. So <laughs> what I did was I went offline and I I cold called leads. I know. I cold called leads. So these are people who uh, this company was selling ads, and these ads were promoting um, opp business opportunities. So what people would do is they would see this ad, and then they would fill out a form to get information about different business opportunities so that they can pick which ones they like best. The company would then sell those leads, sell the names, the email addresses, and the phone numbers of those people to people like me who bought the leads to then now call them and tell them about our business. So what I did is I think I was spending like $90 a month for these list of leads. And it took me about two months to work up the courage to like call these people. Cause I'm like, look, I don't, I, they, know, they don't know me cause the ad didn't say anything about me. So I'm basically like a stranger to them calling them. And so when I finally mustered up the courage to call these people, half of them didn't answer cause they had, uh, you know, caller ID now. Like, like me, if I don't recognize the number, I'm not answering it. I'm just saying, look, I'm, if it's somebody I know and it's important, they'll, they'll, they'll leave a voicemail. So half of the people did not even answer once. Uh, some of the people did answer, were really, really nice, said, yeah, sure, you know, send me what you got, I'll take a look. And then when I followed up with them, couldn't find them, right? They went ghost on me, Casper the ghost. I couldn't find them anywhere. They couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't reach them again. Then there were people who did answer, screamed at me and said, I don't know who you are. I didn't request this information. Click. And it was at that point where I said, I'm done with this industry. I quit. I believe in it. I believe people have success. I believe people can make money, but I don't think I can do this. Like clearly maybe I just don't have the personality. I just didn't believe in myself anymore. So I quit the industry. And that was around uh, the summer of 2012. And then towards the end of 2012, I started getting these emails about this training program that people were using, people who were in different companies who were now getting access to training that taught them how to market their business online. Like they weren't taught how to market a system, but they were actually learning how to market their business online and they were having success. These were people who were like me, who had struggled, who had never had success before and they started getting results. And for someone like me who has a background in law, I'm used to providing evidence when I say something, when I when I make a claim or make an argument, we were taught you have to back up, you have to cite legal cases to back up what you're saying. So when I came into the online marketing world and I saw all these people, right, and you've probably seen these people who are always trying to get you to buy something, and they're telling you, oh no, no, this is great, this is work, but they don't show you any proof. <laughs> it's like what? So for me, what got my attention about this training, and I'll talk about it a little later tonight, is that there were results to back it up. There were people who had been struggling. Like these weren't hot shot people who were big shots in other companies and then they just happened to get this training and they became big shots in another company. Now these are people who had never been big shots. People who were newbies or people who have been in the industry for years and never hit a full time income and they were able to now hit a full time income. And here's what I learned. Here's the discovery. This is where now you pick up the pen and a piece of paper. This is where now we start getting into the formula. I discovered that there's a formula that training program showed me that there is a step-by-step -step process. There's a formula from going from a newbie, someone who just getting started in a home-based business, who hasn't had any results yet, even someone who has been in for a while. If you've been in for a while and you only maybe got a few, few distributors, few customers, how you can go from wherever you are at tonight and go straight to the top. And there's a process, there's, there's a strategy that they use that I'm going to share with you guys tonight. When I discovered it, here's what happened for me. I went from being somebody who couldn't even get two people to take a look at my business to be able to get 16, over 16 people a day saying, I want more information about your business. Being able to generate 16, over 16 leads a day 
to then, and I'm showing you the process, right? So this is the training has started now. And here's what I'm telling you. There's a process. So in the beginning, when I was brand new in the company that I'm in now, I had to master just getting leads first. Okay, when I started mastering leads, I started getting signups, then the income went up. As you guys see there on the screen, I had I made $1,125 in a day online because of what I'm going to share with you guys tonight. $1,125 in a day. And again, I can't guarantee results, right? I have to I throw the legal disclaimer in there. Um, you can go to empowernetwork.com forward slash income to see what average what the average earnings are. For me, I was sick of being getting average results. I wasn't even getting average results. Five people in two years is not even average, <laughs> right? Like it was below average. I wanted to know what were the top people doing. And I was committed to doing what they told me to do. And I wasn't making any excuses anymore because I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was sick of not getting the results. And you have to get to that point. So then here's what happened. Here's the flow, right? I'm showing you guys newbie to leader, right? I started hitting the top of the leaderboard for my company for most signups. Right? I was a top 10 recruiter inside of my entire company. Yeah, the same person who could only recruit five people in two years. Then, because I hit the leaderboard on my company and became one of the top recruiters, now I hit a full-time income. That's actually an old screenshot because I'm over 30 grand total. But yeah, 4,000 a month went full-time in my business. Because I started earning income because I had a full-time income because I became a top 10 recruiter inside of my entire company I was asked to speak on stage that actually was um, in 2015 it was uh, April of last year in Nashville I was on a rising star panel of the rising stars in my company as you see there to the left the guy with the white pants on he was the CEO at the time of my company so the first thing I showed up on a panel <laughs> right, like I didn't, I didn't get a full a, a, a solo spot, but I was on a panel first. I'm showing you guys the path. Right, the beginning part was I had to get training, I had to learn. Next thing was leads. Right, that's all you saw. I got leads. Then I started getting more sales from that leads. Hit a big income day. Became a top recruiter. So that's the process. I'm gonna show you guys what the strategy was that I used. But I'm just showing you that every top person didn't just get to the top right away. Some do because they were big hot shots in other companies and they just transferred the team over. That was not the case for me because I didn't have a big team. I only recruited five people in two years. So if you're the type of person who like, look, I don't have a big team, never had a big team, can someone just show me how I can go from where I'm at right now to being the top? This is it. Okay, so then this was July of last year. I mean, this was uh, April of last year. The next event in July, I had my own solo speaking spot. Now let me show you tonight from the strategy you're gonna learn what's going to happen. Like what how is this going to translate into for you? When you become a top recruiter in your company, when the company starts promoting you, here's what you'll experience. Right now, you feel like that person. You feel like you're always having to chase people. So you always feel like you have to like people won't get back to you. You try to follow up with them, they won't respond. They you know they don't want to join. They're not interested, or they make all these excuses about why they can't get started now. You feel like you're always chasing people. When you become a top recruiter from applying the strategy I'm going to teach you tonight, people start chasing you. This is what happened to me, right? I'm like, oh, okay, so this is what the top leaders, people who hit the leaderboard, people who've learned. The skill set who've invested in the training learn. Oh, this is what life is like. So I'm just showing you guys, like, this is what happens. People will start inboxing. I get inbox messages on Facebook all the time now. Hey, Angela, I want to get started with you. I want to join you. See here now. Hey, I want to get started with you. People start chasing you. The other thing is, sales become easier. It becomes easier to recruit because here's why every top recruiter, every top leader, they're on a the leaderboard. So they're getting promoted, right? They have the results, but here's the other thing. The company is promoting them. They're showing up in company sales videos. Like I was in one of my company sales video and everybody in the company is promoting that sales video. So now everybody in the company is promoting you, right? A lot of, a lot of top leaders will say, oh, you don't have to do online marketing. They don't have to do online marketing because a lot of the times they're in the marketing videos that the company has and everybody else is promoting that. So it's like they don't have to do so much of the marketing. So in the beginning, you may have to grind it out like I did. You may have to do the videos. A lot of you came from my videos. I had to grind it out. I had to be willing to trade my time and invest my time and my hard work 
to get to the top so that now when I'm at the top, the company promotes me. Other people in the, in the company promote me. You see what I'm saying? So it's how do you get there? But sales become easier. And tonight I want to show you what the strategy was that I used. So you'll get people who, from the moment they go to your website, they'll sign up the same day. So you see here, Darren, he signed up. Um, he joined my email list. What is this? Um, what day is that? Oops, let me go back. Uh, let me see. Because on my end, it's, okay, November November 1st, you see there? So he joined November 1st and then signs up the same day. Does everybody do that? No. Right? I'm being honest and realistic because some of these online people would just, you know, fake the funk and tell you what, what you want to hear. But the truth is not everybody signs up the same day. But when you become a top recruiter, when people are already looking for you, when people are already searching for you, when you have a lot of results, they'll sign up the same day. I became featured in, as a rising star. I got an interview with the company CEO. Here's what I mean by the company starts interviewing, the company starts promoting you. The company pulled all the top people in the, in the company and then they interviewed all of us. And you see here it says the leaderboard from formula, how this single lesson put Angela on the leaderboard eight times. Okay, so the company interviewed me, the CEO interviewed me, and then what they did is they encouraged everybody in the company to promote these rising star interviews. So now my name was getting out there. So a lot of you guys may hear people say, upline or whoever, say, well, no, 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 don't do online marketing, don't do this. But they're getting groups of people to promote them. And that's the reason why they keep rising and rising and rising and rising to the top. But I didn't know this stuff. Like I had to get the training to realize, oh, that's what's going on, right? The other thing that happens once you become a top recruiter is you're free. Like you, you don't have a full-time job, and so you are freed up to now go travel. You guys see on the left-hand side there, this was Miami in January 2014, and it was amazing because at the time I lived in Michigan. And to be able to escape the cold snow in Michigan and to be able to just get up and go to Miami in January 2014, and it was like 8 degree weather, right? Like to be able to do that, you can do that when you're full-time in your business. There to the right is where I was in Vegas in January. Uh, and that was Vegas, January of 2015, okay? Um, you guys see some pictures there. But let's, the, the, the beautiful thing is once you master becoming a top recruiter and hitting the leaderboard, you can now duplicate that in your team. Because we all know this, in, this industry and this business is all about getting your team to duplicate what you do. And I've shared this same exact formula, the same exact strategy that I'm getting ready to share with you guys tonight with other people. And they've been able to hit the leaderboard. You see there, Arnold Haynes. And that was his first time hitting the leaderboard in anything. So it's it's been duplicating with other people who have never hit the leaderboard before. Like other people who struggled. Arnold was someone who struggled for years in the home-based business industry. Remember he was telling me that he used to prospect. He was told to prospect people in like shopping malls and in Walmart. And it got to the point where there were relationships with his family and friends that were ruined because of what he was taught to do in this industry. And he got started, got plugged in, got the training, applied the strategy I'm going to share with you guys tonight, and he hit the leaderboard in a month in his company, right, for the first time, never hit it before. That's what this is about. It's about helping that person who have never succeeded in this industry finally win. Same thing, George got started with me July 29th. You see there? By August 16th, which is that, like, what, two weeks, three weeks later, he hit the leaderboard. You see him under yesterday, number 10, for most signups in a day. He did the strategy that I was telling you guys, that I'm going to tell you guys tonight. So let's get into it. So if you're ready to go full-time, if you're ready to become a top recruiter and a leader, you're ready to break free from your job, you're ready to get sales and get more recruits more easily in your home-based business, and you're ready to be a powerful leader that can help your team succeed finally because you have invested in being and stepping up and being a powerful leader, then this is for you. Because tonight, what I want to talk about first is how to go full time. We're going to come up with the numbers that you need. Business is about knowing your numbers. This is not about shooting in the dark, you know, kind of throwing stuff up against the wall and just seeing if it sticks. No, this is about knowing here's what I need to go full time and break free from my job. Here's the number of sales I need. Here's the number of leads I need. And you have a plan, a game plan of the numbers that you need to hit so that now you can attack it and you can make it happen this year in 2016. So I'm going to share with you guys. We're going to actually come up with the numbers for your business, for your company tonight. 
after I do that, I'm going to share with you that strategy, that top strategy that I use to go from the newbie right, in my company to being the top recruiter, to being on the leaderboard, being the top 10 recruiter in my company, to being on stage, and now duplicating that for other people in their companies. I'm going to share that with you. And you're going to learn how to finally succeed even if you failed in the past. So let's dig into it. So if you don't have a pen and piece of paper out, go ahead and get it now. I'm going to give you time because you're going to want to write this down. But this is where we roll up the sleeves. And we actually dig into giving you a game plan like right now, tonight, for your company. For your company, for your company's compensation plan, this is what I do for a lot of my customers, is I, I dig into what is their company's compensation plan. Because again, they're not promoting anything but their company. So the goal is to help figure out what do they really need to go full time and help them figure out how many people they need to recruit each month, how they need to duplicate that throughout their organization, and now have a game plan of what numbers they need to hit online. So the step one is first you need to figure out how much money you actually need to earn to go full time. You'll be surprised most people get this step completely wrong. They completely underestimate it. And I'm going to share with you guys tonight why I say that. Because most people, um, they don't factor in taxes. Like you have to pay taxes, right? <laughs> so you got to factor that in. So you don't get to keep all of what you make in your business. If you get a commission check for $1,000 in your company, you don't keep all a thousand. And most people aren't teaching that. I know when I first joined my first company that I struggled in, I, I wasn't taught even that. That's just basic business one-on-one, that you don't keep everything that you make. So when you set a goal of the kind of income that you want to make each month, that's the amount that you want to keep personally for your personal income. But that's not how much you need to bring in total to then be able to take that personally. So we're going to talk about that step one. But first you want to calculate how much money you need to make. Step two is that based on your company's comp plan, we need to figure out how many sales, how many new reps you need to make. If you're in a company that focuses more on the product side, how many product sales? Okay, How many sales you need to bring in to your business to hit that income goal? And what I typically do for most people is if they know what their, their monthly income goal needs to be, um, I'll take a look at their compensation plan to see what rank typically is earning that income. And then from there, we see what size their organization need to be. And from the size of the organization, let's say they need 100 people. But we, we find a good benchmark number that if they get that benchmark number each month and they now duplicate that, they get that team size to hit that rank. So you need to step two, figure out, like I said, how many sales, how many product sales or how many new recruits you need to bring into your business to hit your income goal. Once you know how many you need a month, step three is to now figure out how many leads you need to hit your goal. Now, a lead online is someone who will go to your page, put in their email address on your page to learn, learn more about your business opportunity. It's the same concept. I hear people all the time, they're like, yeah, you know, um, my company teaches a different system. So we're not taught, you know, to do online. And I'm just trying to follow my company system. I said, did your company tell you to expose your business to people? And then if they're interested in, in getting more information, you get their phone number and information and you give them the presentation or you present to them and then you follow up. They're like, yeah. So that's what we're teaching you online. <laughs> online, we're teaching you how to get people to now be interested in seeing a presentation. And then you, they give you their email address in exchange for them now checking out your presentation. So if your upline is telling you, you know, get, get people to our call, that's what we build the online part for, is to get people to the call and then follow up with them. So we're teaching you exactly what your company, and that's why I say I'm big on helping people follow what their company is teaching them and just doing it online. So for you, a lead is the same thing as a lead offline. When someone, you know, offline gives you their phone number to follow up with them after they see the presentation, we're just asking for the email address online. So we need to figure out how many leads or how many people give you their content information do you need to recruit the number that you calculated in step two. And don't worry if this feels like over your head or you're like, I'm not getting this, Angela. I'm going to give you an example, like a real world example. So that way you can kind of see this in real life, okay? But I just want you to kind of get the steps now. Once you know how many leads, let's say you need 10 leads a day. You know now your numbers. So step four is you choose your marketing strategies. So you choose it based on what? Your budget and your time. So there's different marketing strategies, especially online, that you can do. You could do blogging. You could do video marketing. You could do Facebook. There's so many different strategies, but how do you pick which one to do? 
Well, you base it off of your time. So if you don't have a lot of time, but you have maybe bigger budget, you can do paid marketing. If you're like me, when I got started, I had $220,000 of student loan debt and I was unemployed, you may not have any money for paid marketing. So what I did is I invested in training to learn how to do the free strategies the right way. So how to do blogging the right way, how to do video marketing the right way, so I could then make sales and make money so that now I have a budget to do paid marketing. So for you, you would pick the strategies that will get you the lead flow that you need so you can hit the income goal that you need. So that's step four. Step five, once you pick the marketing strategies, you then watch training, you invest in training, and you watch training that teaches you how to do just those strategies the right way. What I see most people do online is they try to learn all this other, all many different things. They try to do Facebook and Instagram and blogging and all this stuff, and they get overwhelmed because they're trying to do too much. And what you want to do is you want to just pick the one to two strategies and then now get the training that will show you how to do it the right way so you don't waste your time or your energy or your money. I can't tell you how many people, you're going to see the story of Kathleen Gage here uh, in a little bit who was Mary Kay Rep, and she was spending $50 to $100 on Facebook ads and she didn't get a single sale, like not one, not a single sale. And she was spending all this money and here's what happened. She got started, got plugged in invested in the training that started with me and <laughs> I had her do Facebook but she got access to training on how to do it the right way within three days got her first customer. That's the value of knowing how to do stuff and do it the right way so you don't keep wasting your time or your money. Step six is you watch the training, right? You watch training and take action and then step six is you results. And then step seven is you rinse and repeat. You keep doing the same thing. And then step eight is now when you get a new distributor, you teach them and guide them through the same steps. That is how you go full time. That's it. So let me give you an example of this. So let's say we have a woman named Tasha and she's in a home based business. Her monthly income goal is she want to, if she hits $3,000 a month, she can go full time in her business. Okay, cool. So let's say in her company's compensation plan, she earns $200 for each new rep that joins her company at the top package. So she gets $200 per new sign up. First thing we need to do is we need to figure out how many reps do Tasha need to recruit each month for her to be able to hit $3,000 a month in income. So for her, we take the $3,000 goal that she wants, divided by $200 that she get per recruit, and that means she needs to sign up 15 new people every single month. Then we need to figure out, okay, for her to recruit 15 people, how many leads? Remember, a lead is somebody who says, I just want to get more information about your business. And online, we can do that. They'll just be giving you their email address. And then now whatever your upline, whatever your company system is telling you to do, you're going to do it, right? So if it's send them to a call that we're doing, we're now doing your online marketing so that now when someone goes to your website, they put in their email address, you're now directing them to that call. If it's, hey, your upline is telling you send them and have them watch this video. We're, okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to send them to the video. Whatever your upline is telling you to do, we're going to now do that online. We're just using online to generate the leads to now send them to whatever presentation that your upline wants you to send them to. We just need to figure out how many leads. So for Tasha, how many leads, how many people giving her the, their email address do she need to her, for her to recruit about 15 people a month. It's a numbers game, you guys, but you gotta know the numbers. On average, and this is for someone, if you're, even if you're brand new, if you're like, I don't, I've never done online marketing, Angela, I am so new to this, this is what we've seen even for the new person. For every 20 leads that you generate, you can recruit about one person, so one out of 20. So if you go to your calculator and put one divided by 20, that equals .05. So this is, I, I promise you, this is all the math you need to do. You take the number of reps that you want a month and divide it by 0 .05. And that will tell you how many leads, how many people giving you their email address online you need to recruit the amount of people that you need to recruit. So whatever your number is, for Tasha here is 15, whatever your number is of how many people you need to recruit, just divide it by 0 .05. And that will tell you how many leads, how many email addresses you need to collect online. For Tasha, it's 300 a month. What we want to do now is take that number and figure out what that is a day. So take your monthly lead number and divide it by 30 days because there's usually 30 days in a month, right? So for Tasha, I'm taking her 300 she needs a month and divide it by 30. And that means she needs 10 leads 
a day. So for Tasha now, it's all about what online marketing strategies can she do that will get, get her 10 people every single day giving her their email address so they can get more information about her company. Not another system, but her company. And now she has a game plan. I'll, I'll, I'll just get real with you guys. For me, my numbers, because like I told you, on average for a new person who's just getting started online, one out of 20 is what you're going to get probably. That's how I was when I first got started. Now, for every 10 to 15 leads that I get, I get one new sign up. One out of 10 is my number. One out of 10. So for every 10 leads that I get, I get one new sign up. And here's what's so great about knowing your numbers and having a system. It's consistent and it's predictable. That means for me, I don't know who the one, I, one, the one person will be, but I know. When I, as soon as I get my 10 leads, I know I'm getting a sign up. And the reason why that's important for those of you who want to go full time, because remember at the beginning of this webinar, I said this is only for you, for those of you who want to at least get to a full time income. This is not for those of you guys who just want to do part time. Like I said, this is for people who want to build something big. For those of you who want to go full time, that means you want to walk away from your job. That means that you want to walk away from a consistent check, but you want to get a consistent check in your business. Consistent check comes from consistent numbers, consistent sales, consistent signups. So for me, I want consistent money. So the way for you to get consistent money is for you to know what your numbers are. And I'm pretty sure uh, if you have a great leadership, which so many of you do, you have great upline, great leadership, they probably have told you to track your numbers, track how many people you're talking to. The same thing online. I'm going to tell you the same thing. I'm telling you the same thing that your upline is telling you. Track your numbers. We're going to track your numbers. So that way you know. It's like I can't tell you how amazing it is. And it comes in like clockwork. For me, so when it's like I get my next ten leads coming in, I'm like, okay, I already know somebody's gonna sign up. I have no pressure. Like, there's no like, oh my gosh, I don't know, is somebody gonna sign up? Oh, I don't have any of that now. It's just I just interact with everyone, and I know one of them are gonna sign up. That's what's great about doing that and having that system online. Okay, so you say, okay, Angela, if it's that easy, if it's that easy, then why are people struggling? Right? If it's if it's just a number thing, if it's just put, Calculating some numbers, picking you know what strategies you want. Why is it that people still are not full time? Why is it that I'm not still full time in my business? Here are some of the common reasons that I'm seeing. Number one, a lack of knowledge and training. It's good to know your numbers. It's good to know all the different strategies that are out there. But if you don't know how to do them the right way, I, I can't tell you how many people I've seen, whether they're, they've kind of created their own blog and they're not getting any traffic and no leads, no results, and they wasted all that time all that time because <laughs> they didn't know how to do it the right way, right? But the thing I've seen, and I think it's just because Facebook is so popular, I'm seeing a lot of people who are doing, doing stuff on Facebook and they're not getting any results, like no sales coming in. Likes are cute, comments are cute, but we're not in the business for likes and comments. You don't get paid a commission for likes and comments. You get paid for leads. You get paid for signups, I'm sorry, for signups. That come from leads. That come from people giving you the information and saying, take me to a presentation. Send me a video. And then from there, signing and closing them into your business. So what I'm seeing so many people do is I see so many people wasting their time on Facebook and they're not doing it the right way. And so they're, they're wasting money. They're wasting time. And that's the reason why they haven't gone full time yet because they just didn't – they didn't want to invest in training to learn how to do it the right way so they could save all the headaches, save all the money that they did spend trying to do it their own way. They just didn't get the information and didn't get the right information. So that's number one. The second thing is just a lack of exposure. For a lot of you, just not, you haven't gotten in front of enough people. You just haven't gotten in front of enough, enough people. When you do the calculations that I just shared with you, when you do your numbers, you're going to realize, like, oh, man, like I need to get 10 people a day? That's way more than like two people that my upline selling, or that's more than two people. Yeah, <laughs> when you do, when you go to cold market, you may need more people, right? Like I tell you guys, for me, I'm getting one out of ten, and I'm only generating now maybe about six to ten leads a day. But I hit the leaderboard. I hit the top of the leaderboard in my entire company from just six to ten leads, six to ten leads a day. Like that's it. Why? Because I learned how to close those leads. I know how to convert them online. Right? I'm invested in the training to learn how to do it. So what I'm saying is that you don't need a massive amount of lead flow, but you do need about at least at least six to ten 
to start recruiting at least one person a week, at least, at least. We, but as you're as you're getting started, it's going to take you probably about one out of twenty. But you can get up to one out of ten, like I have. Um, but I'm I'm just getting being real with you guys. So a lot of you who just like I just want someone to tell me the honest truth. That's it, right? And it's it's going to come from you being willing to learn, but being willing to apply what works and apply the training that you get, right? So for a lot of people, it's just for a lot of you, you just don't have a lot of exposure. Like you're not getting in front of enough people. Another reason why most people struggle to go full time is a lack of lead flow, right? They're not even getting two people a day to take a look at their business, right? They're not even getting two people a day. And this is about exposures. I know you've heard this plenty of times from your company, from the leaders in your company, from your upline. It's because it's true. They're telling you the truth, but it's having the strategy now to actually get the numbers, right? And then the, the final reason, this is what we're going to talk about tonight, because it's going to tie into that strategy of what I use to go from a newbie to top of the leader board. It's no credibility. So you're like, man, that's so hard, Angela, because I don't have a lot of the top results like a lot of these top leaders do. And so people are not signing up with me, right? Like, how do I get signups if I don't have a sign up yet? Because if people ask me, well, how much money have you made? How, you know, how much results have you gotten? I can't tell them I, I haven't gotten a lot. So how do I deal with that problem? Like, how did the person who's on the leaderboard, how did they get started? How did they go from newbie to where they are right now? I'm about to show, I'm about to tell you what the strategy was, okay? You ready for it? Here's the strategy. How do you go from a newbie to a top producer, to a top recruiter? How do you go from somebody who may have not had a lot of results or a lot of success yet to being the top of your company, being the top recruiter? It's sell your last results. So what do you mean by that? I don't have results. <laughs> how, do you, how, do I, how do I sell a result? I don't have a result yet. Well, I'm going to challenge you on that. Okay. Some of you actually do have a result. And I, I see this all the time with a lot of the customers that I work with. I talked to a lady today who's in Beachbody, just signed up, became a customer of mine to grow her Beachbody business, right? And I've worked with people in Beachbody before and a lot of different travel, a lot of different uh, health and wellness companies like It Works. I'm working with people in It Works right now. Um, and she was like, I got somebody who's going to sign up for the health shake that they have in Beachbody on Monday. And I told her, I said, as soon as that person signs up, that's a result. Some of you got results in terms of customers. And you're downplaying it. Like, you don't think that that matters when it comes to recruiting. Oh, but it does. That's the reason why you're on this training. Because here's what you have. Even if you've gotten one customer, even if you've gotten one distributor, and even if that person quit, they're no longer active, guess what you got? You got a result. And now what you can do is you can take that result that you got and you can now go online and market in front of people who are already thinking about joining your home-based business and say, hey, look, let me, show, let me share with you in this video how I made money in five links, whatever your business is, Beachbody, It Works, Total Life Changes, Paycation Travel, World Ventures. I mentioned all the people companies that I help people work with and get results in, right? So whatever your company is, you can literally today do a video and say, here's how I got a customer. Here's how I'm getting customers inside of my business. Here's how I got a customer inside of this business. If you get started with me, if you join me, I'll show you what I did. Some of you right now, that was your breakthrough because here's what's happening. You're not talking about your results, and that's the problem. That's why you're not getting to the next level, whether it's the next, next rank in your company, hitting the next income level in your company, because you're not talking about your results. Some of you are talking about your results, but you're doing it maybe on Facebook. You're talking to people who have absolutely no interest in joining your business. But if we could now take you who've gotten results, but put you in front of people who are already thinking about joining your business and you now share with them the results you got, which to them you're seen as a leader now because they haven't even joined yet and they haven't even gotten the one result, the one customer you got, that is where you now get results. Now some of you are saying to yourself, but Angela, I, I don't even, I have never even gotten a customer. Like I have never even gotten a distributor, like not even one person. So how does this apply to me? Because I don't have any, like I literally, I really don't have a result. Like I, I don't even have a single customer. Let me tell you something, you can still do this. This is gonna be your breakthrough. You ready? Here's the shift for you guys. For those of you who are like, I'm new, or even if I've been in for years and I haven't even gotten a single, I haven't made a penny in my company yet. You know what you can do? 
you can still sell your last result. You say, what are you talking about? I don't have a result. Here's what you need to do. Here's what I did. Because when I started in my company, I didn't have a single customer first. I didn't have a single sale. I'm talking about the company I'm with now. I started out as a newbie. I didn't bring team members over. Because again, like I said, I had five people in, in two years. Right? And I didn't bring any of them over. I started from scratch. So here's what I did. I had to get a result. And the result that I got first wasn't even a sale. <gasps> you said, what do you mean by that? What I did is I invested in training that taught me how to do blogging and video marketing. And I applied the training. And that training got me in front of a lot of people in terms of my videos. So here you see an example here. I applied the training and that training showed me how to get my videos exposed on YouTube. And so I started getting views to my video. And you know what I did? I used that traffic for my videos, those views, as a result. So what do you mean by that? I would go back out and I would do a video and say, hey, look, here's how I just got my business in front of 100 people. Check this out. Here, you see here, I got 100 views to this video. I'm able to now build my business without having to chase my family and friends and get my video, get my business in front of hundreds of people. If you are thinking about joining this business, the, if you get partnered with me, I'll show you how you can now get your business in front of hundred, hundreds of people and not have to just resort to keep chasing and harassing your family and friends. Go to my website and get started. You say, well, what do you mean? You didn't, get a, you didn't have a sign up yet? Nope. So you mean to tell me I can get started, like I can market just the results I'm getting and learning from just getting exposure? Because here's the deal. Here's why I used to tell people in my video. You won't get a sign up. You won't get a sell in this business that you're thinking about joining until you know how to get exposure. I can show you how to get exposure. I was saying this before I got a sign up. I didn't lie to people. I didn't tell them, hey, I got a sign up. No, I believe in being ethical. You, don't, you tell the truth. The truth was I learned a strategy <laughs> for how to market my business and get my videos and my business in front of hundreds of people. And if you partner with me, I'll show you how to do the same thing so you don't have to be stuck. If you're thinking like, do I have to market? Do I have to keep chasing my family and friends if I join this? Nope. Now if you partner with me. You guys right now, some of you, that was the aha and the breakthrough. You could now, when you learn, when you get invested, you invest in the training to learn how to market your business. Let's say, for example, I'm in uh, It Works. Okay, let's say, I, let's say I'm in it, I'm not in It Works, okay, but let's just say I'm in It Works. That's a health and wellness company for those of you who don't know what It Works is. I could literally invest in learning how to blog and invest in learning how to do videos to build my It Works business and do a video for people who are searching for It Works compensation plan. These are people who they are thinking about joining It Works. They just want to know how do you get paid in this company. I can literally tonight doing what I just shared with you. Do a video, say, it works, compensation plan, how to make money at works. And I can just simply read what the compensation plan for it works is. I can literally take what I just learned tonight, the, the, the numbers, and say, hey, look, here's how you can go full time in your it works business. What you need to do first is you need to calculate how many people, how, how much money you need to make to go full time. Then you need to figure out under the it works compensation plan, how many new distributors you need to go. You can literally take what you learned tonight. Yeah, and then at the end say, but look, in order for you to recruit this amount of people to go full time in your business, you need massive exposure. And I've learned how to do videos like this one that you're watching right now to get my AWX business in front of hundreds of people and to do it and not have to chase my family and friends. If that interests you, if you're thinking about joining it works and you don't want to just resort to having to always chase your family and friends, but you want to be able to do videos like this one to get your it works business out there to 100 people, get started with me and join me because I'll show you what I'm doing. Go to my website. That's it, you guys. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to get traffic, and then as you go out and you start sharing the views that you're getting to your blogs, to your videos, you're going to get leads. You're going to get people who watch your video, read your blog, and say, wow, I'm interested in learning more. And they go to your website and put in their email address, and guess what? You got a lead now. That's a result, folks. That's the result. So you sell that result. You go right back out to the marketplace. You go right back out to the, and do a video and say, hey, look, let me share with you how I got two leads today. Two people reaching out to me today for, for more information about my It Works business. Hey, if you're watching this video or if you're reading this blog post and you're thinking about joining It Works, 
the key is you got to have people who are interested in learning more about your business. Let me share with you, I got two people yesterday who reached out to me and wanted to know more about my It Works business. If you partner with me, I'll show you how, how I'm doing it. Guess what's going to happen? See there? That's a lead that I got from my blog. I'm going to share with you guys a little bit later tonight about the blogging system that I use and I recommend to people. But see, I got a lead from the blog. And what I did was, this is before I got my first sign up, I would take that result, I would do a video and say, hey look, I'm getting leads from my business. I'm getting people who are coming in from El Paso, Texas. I'm in Michigan. People across the country are going to my email list to learn more about my business. If you partner with me, I'll show you what I'm doing. Guess what happened? I started getting more leads. Right? More leads started coming in. Guess what happened? I started getting sign up. That was a result. I got my first sign up, but I didn't wait until I got my first sign up. That's what I want you guys to see. I saw results prior to that. I saw the result of, oh man, I know how to market my business online, and if you partner with me, I'll show you how to do the same thing. Then I got leads. Hey, I learned how to get people asking me for information about my business. If you partner with me, I'll show you how to do the same thing. Guess what happened? I started getting sign ups. Started getting sign ups. And then I went right back out. Guess what I did? I sold that result. Hey, if you want to learn how I got five people started, in a month and you're looking to get started in this business, if you partner with me, I'll show you how you can get five people in a month too. I'll coach you and guide you and lead you on how to do the same thing. Guess what happened? I started getting more and more and more and more signups, right? And I ended up hitting the leaderboard. Got more exposure. Company started promoting me. More and more and more and more signups. Started hitting the leaderboard, became a top recruiter in the entire company. More and more and more and more signups, right? Went full time. More and more and more and more sign up because <laughs> I kept selling each result. That's how you go from a newbie to a top leader in your company. Here's what happened. I started sharing this with other people in different companies. Jennifer McGrawby was someone who was in five links. She got started with me August 27th. She learned video marketing, right? So I taught her first, get traffic, get exposure. She applied the video marketing training and here's what happened. She said, I just got started with video marketing. Angela's YouTube video marketing training has helped me be on the top of YouTube for my company keyword, which is five links at the time. One of the videos I put out there has 200 views in two days. She got 200 views. She exposed her five links business to 200 people in two days. I said, Jennifer, great, awesome, sell that result. Go back out there, do a video showing people, hey look, I just got my business in front of 200, I got 200 views, 200 eyeballs, right? to my business. If you partner with me, you can do the same thing. Here's what happened. She started getting leads. Didn't I tell you that's what's going to happen? If you sell your result, you sell the traffic first, you sell the exposure. She told people, hey, I learned how to promote my business using videos and blogging. If you partner with me, I'll show you how to do the same thing to build five links. I'll show you how to do it. She started getting leads. People went to her website, put in their email address because they wanted to learn more about her five links business. I said, great. She inboxed me. She said, I got two leads today. Angela, I never got them that quick before ever. See, when you invest in training that shows you how to do stuff the right way, you don't have to waste time wondering why I'm not getting results, why it's not working. She had access to me and I showed her this is what you need to do and she did it and guess what happened? She got results a lot more faster. She said, actually, I did get them that fast before but it was all paid marketing. She was paying for leads but she said, this is free. It's coming from videos. And I'm getting them. So here's what happened. You know what I told her? What did I tell her? I told her, sell that result. You got two leads. She hadn't gotten a sign up yet. I told her, go back out, do videos and do blog posts, share with people how you got two leads. You got two people asking for more information about your five links business. And if they partner with you, you'll do the same thing for them. Guess what happened? Remember, she signed up with me August 27th, right? See that? By September 8th, she got her first sale. That quick. You say, How, what? Yeah. When you do this strategy, when you implement it, this is what can happen. Lee Rowland taught him the same thing. Here's what happened. He watched a Facebook training that I did. I think it was on, like on YouTube or something, right? He watched it. He applied it. He had people inboxing him on Facebook for more information about his business. I, I said, great, Lee, you're getting leads. You're getting leads. He's mastered lead flow. Like he's getting people inboxing him on Facebook about his business. I said, but here's what you need to do. You gotta learn how to convert those leads. So I said, get started with me, right? Get started with me as a customer, and I'll show you now how to cl close those leads. Because you gotta now invest in the next skill level, right? Leads are they're cute, but they're not. That's not a sign up. 
<laughs> so he gets started, got plugged in with me. So this is uh, November 13th, right? You see there? That was when he inboxed me on Facebook. So I said, great, awesome. Get started with me. I'll show you how to now leverage that result because you've got a result. You're getting leads. Here's how you now go online and now let show people, tell them, hey, look, I'm getting people inbox me. If you partner with me, you get, I'll show you how to do the same thing. He gets started with me. I show him how to sell his last result, how to sell the result that he's getting with getting leads by December 31st. So what is that, like two or three weeks? He gets a sign up because he sold his last result. He did the strategy that I'm telling you guys to do tonight. It's a formula. It works. It doesn't matter what your personality is. It's a formula. It doesn't matter what company you're in. You know why? Because it's a formula. It's like a recipe for baking a cake. I don't care if you are outgoing, if you're shy. When I give you a recipe for a cake, anybody can make that cake if they follow the recipe. If you follow this recipe, you can get results. So Lee inboxed me on Facebook. He told me you got to sign up. I said, great. You see there at the end of my message, I said, how did you get your sign up? Was it on Facebook? He said, yes, I've been working with her for a while now. I just did what I learned from you. And she eventually decided to join. You know why? Because it works. It's a formula. So if you're ready to apply this formula, like you heard it, you're like, oh, this, I've never, how many guys, I want you to, to comment below this video if that was a breakthrough for you. If you're like, whoa, I never saw this before. Leave a comment and let me know because that's how I was. When I, when I got access to this training I'm about to share with you guys tonight, I was like, why didn't nobody teach me this? When I, when I had recruited five people in two years, <laughs> I could have taken those five people, the five, the, the five results that I got, and I could have really exploded it back then. But I didn't know. I didn't invest in training. I didn't invest in getting access to people. So I spent two years in this industry struggling for no reason. I could have been full-time a long time ago, you guys. If I'd have just stepped up and invested in getting access to training that showed me the right thing to do, how many of you tonight see, oh my goodness, Angela, I get it. I see it and I want to apply it. Like, I want to do this. I want to get results like Jennifer. I want to get results like Lee Rowland. How do I now take what you just shared with me and apply it to my business? Well, the blogging training that I kept talking about referring to, the same blogging training that Jennifer McGrawby got to grow her five things business. The same training that Lee Rowland got was through Empower Network. Now, Empower is a blogging platform that provides blogging platform and online marketing training specifically for network marketers. And what Empower teaches you how to do is how to build your company. The reason why I represent Empower, the reason why I back it, because I understand the, the founder of the company, David Wood. I've been on calls where he shared, look, you guys, we're not here to teach people to promote Empower Network because it doesn't work. When you promote another system on the front end and you tell people to promote their business on the back end, it cancels the two out. So they'll be bringing in more people in the system and less people into their business. And he's like, we're not here to teach people that. No, don't tell them to promote Empower Network. Tell them to promote their company. And that's when I said, I can get behind this. I'm willing to put my name behind Empower Network because the founder gets it. The, the, David Wood gets it that we're not here to teach people how to build something else, but we're here to keep them focused on building their company. That's the reason why the only training that I promote when it comes to online marketing and teaching network marketers how to promote online, it, the only one is Empower Network, and that's the reason why. I know I get emails all the time from people, they're like, oh, you know, have you heard of this other thing or other thing? I was like, yeah, I've heard of it, but I'm not gonna put my name behind it. I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying, I'm just saying that for me, I knew for me, my focus was building my company, and it still is. And I, and I only want to work with people who that's their focus. And I only want to back and promote products or training that keeps that as the focus for their customers. And that's why I promote Empower Network. So with Empower, what they do is they teach you how to get massive exposure, how to generate leads, recruit reps, and also how to get sales, customer sales, product sales for your business. So even if you're in a company that talks about leading with product first, Empower can still help you with that as well. The reason why we focus so much on the blogging platform, even though we teach other strategies like Facebook, video marketing, the reason why we're built around the blogging platform is because blogging is powerful. The reason why it's powerful is because you have the ability to get in front of people who are already searching. Like they're already going on Google. They're already going on YouTube searching for reviews on the product that you're trying to sell. They're already searching for reviews on your business opportunity. So it's better for you to get in front of somebody who's already thinking about joining and they're close to buying. 
That's how you get signed up so quickly. That's why Jennifer McGrabby was able to get a sign up in two weeks. That's why Lee Rowland was able to get signed up so quickly is because they're not getting in front of people who absolutely have no interest and no desire in building a home-based business. They're getting in front of people who are already searching for the review on their specific company. They're that close to joining. And now we're teaching them how to get in front of those quality people. That's why blogging is so powerful. Facebook is great. Facebook is awesome. We teach Facebook. But I always tell people, Facebook is a little different animal. The way you market on Facebook is totally different than the way you would market on video, or on blogging. Why? Because on Facebook, people are not typing in the name of your company in search of a review. People don't do that on Facebook. That's not what the platform is built for. But people go online marketing on Facebook like people are actually searching for the company. They're not. People on Facebook chatting with their family and friends, liking motivational quotes and things like that. So your marketing has to be different. Doesn't mean that it, it can't work. Facebook works for a lot of people. You're going to see uh, examples of people tonight who, because of Empower's training, because of the Facebook training, they've been able to get results on Facebook. But we've built around a blogging platform. Why? Because it gives you the ability to get in front of people who are already searching for your company. That what that translate into? Like just to kind of break it all the way down, that means you get signups faster. <laughs> Because you're getting in front of people who are already thinking about it, and they just have a couple of questions before they join. So the question is, looking at this, I'm like, okay, that's cool, that sounds good, but is this really working for people? Like in their company, are, are people actually getting signups from this? So let me give you an example. Arnold Haynes was someone who hit his company's leaderboard in under two months because of the strategy I shared with you guys tonight, the sell your last result. He got started. And he learned how to do blogging and video marketing, and he learned how to do online marketing, and he learned how to get leads first, then sell that result, and then he started getting signups, and then he hit the leaderboard for most signups. You guys saw his results earlier. Um, you see there that that was him hitting the leaderboard. Um, he says here this is the first time hitting the board for anything. I'm hyped. Let's get it right. If you want massive exposure. If you did that exercise earlier tonight and you realize, like, man, I need to get in front of more people. I need to get more leads coming in. You need more exposure. And that's what Empower Network can teach you how to do. Jennifer McGrabby, you guys saw earlier, she was able to learn how to do videos to promote her five links business. She was talking about five links in her business, in her video, and she was able to get 200 views in two days. Some of you, you need more leads. You realize tonight when you did your, your full time formula, like, whoa. I need more leads. That's what a partner can teach you how to do. Terry Malvo is someone who got started. And here's the results that she was able to get. She said, six, since 6 a.m. this morning, I received a phenomenal 43 leads and counting since this picture was taken around 10 a.m. That's only four hours. Can you guys imagine having 43 people? <laughs> 43 coming to you and saying, emailing, putting you know, their, their email address in your site and saying, yes, I want more information about your home-based business. And in a matter of four hours. That is what Empower Network has been able to do for people. You guys saw Jennifer McGrabby earlier. I'm not going to stay on this one too long because I showed this earlier. She was able to get leads from her videos. Jacqueline Walter was someone who was in Arbonne. She was in Arbonne when she got started. And she was about to quit her business because she wasn't enjoying it. Some of you guys are doing marketing that you don't enjoy. And the re and, and it's hard for you to keep doing something that you just don't like, that you feel uncomfortable with. Maybe it's how you're being told to approach people. The, the, the thing that I always want people to get, and I want you to get tonight, is if your why for building your business was to get away from a job that you hate, that was my why, if that, if that was your why, then what you want to do is you want to build a business in something that you actually enjoy. Because you don't want to trade a job that you hate for a business that you hate. Like that's kind of disrupt the whole entire point of you getting a business, right? If you wanted to break free from something that you hate doing, wouldn't it make sense to then say, well, what do I like doing? What do I enjoy? And then now let me find a business that allows me to do that. Or how can I take what I already enjoy doing and now bring it into my business? That's one of the things that I, I love to do with my customers, right? Um, so Jacqueline, again, was someone who's going to quit her business. She learned how to do Facebook marketing, and she started getting results on Facebook. She said, "I just got a lead from my Facebook fan page. I love the backdoor Facebook marketing strategy. I'm having much more fun in my business, and I'm starting." Um, let me see. I think my I can't see the bottom here because it's blocked. Let me see what it says. 
oh, I'm starting to love what I do. So again, you guys, it's not just about going eating what you do. There's so many people who hate their business. This is about you having If you're like, I just want to love what I do, that's something that we can show you, that I can show you, and really just by asking you, what do you love to do, and then finding those marketing strategies that will allow you to do it. I always tell people, you know, one of my things that I, that I love is I love uh, television, and one of my favorite television shows is The Cosby Show. I have literally done videos talking about The Cosby Show and tied it into my business. Like, you get to do stuff like that. That's what's cool about blogging, is like you get to talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about and bring it into your business. Some of you love, you may love sports. There are so many different lessons that you can learn from sports in terms of building a team, leadership, that you can now blog about, do a video on, and now be able to pull that into your business. Say, look, you know, my favorite team, actually my favorite, because I'm a huge basketball fan, my favorite team is the San Antonio Spurs. I could do a video talking about the Spurs, talk about how great of a team they are and how everybody plays a role. And to talk about how, you know what, one of the things I love about my business and about the company I'm partnered with and the team that I'm a part of is that we all play a role. You know, my upline leader, blah, 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 you know, uh, plays a role. And this is what, you know, he does and how he helps facilitate our team and help us get results. I've never been a part of an environment where everybody supported each other. I was in a business, I mean, I was in a job. The coworkers were always, you had to always look over your back because you didn't know if people were trying to backstab you, make you look bad in front of the supervisor, but it feels so great to really truly be a part of the team like the Spurs. And our team is winning. Like, you could do that. Do you guys get, like, this is fun. It's supposed to be fun. That is the whole point of building a business is for you to like what you do and people are loving their business again. And that is why they're getting amazing results because of Empower's training. Marie Ocean was in five links. She used to pay somebody a thousand dollars, you guys. Can you believe that? A thousand dollars to do online marketing for her business, and they didn't get her results. She got started in Empower Network to learn how to do it herself, and she said, "I used to pay someone a thousand dollars to get the results. I have now learned to do it in five minutes. This helps people. I am now on the first page of YouTube for multiple keywords. That's for her five links business." Felicia Stark. Some of you. You may have gotten some leads online. You may have a little email list of people who have expressed an interest in your business, but you're like, look, they're not signing up. I don't know how to close them. Like, how do I close people? How do I get them signed up and get them interested in joining? Well, Felicia position, and what I did is I actually gave her like this email that I used to get people to book an appointment with me. So these are people who have my email list, wanted to learn more about my business, and I would send this email out. And it was designed to get them to book a phone call with me so that I can now close them on the spot on the phone, right? Now, I don't mind talking on the phone to people who they've already seen my video, already seen my blogs. They already like me. They already think about joining. They just may have a question. So there was this email that I sent out that produced all these appointments that I was getting signups from. And I literally give it to my customers saying, hey, look, just copy and paste it. It works. Like, you don't have to figure this out. Like, that's the whole point. Like, some of you guys have been trying to Figure all this stuff out on your own, and you're wasting so much time. So Felicia said, thank you very much, Angela. Took that email, copied and pasted it, sent it out to her list for her business. And here's what she said. She said, I took your advice on a strategy that you're using to reach more people, and I'm excited to share that I implemented what you suggested, and boom, it worked. I sent the email this morning. I'm already getting responses. Thanks for sharing your expertise. So if you see there, that little yellow box, that's somebody who booked a time appointment with her. It worked. You know why it worked? Because I was sharing something that actually worked. <laughs> Some of you are like, I just want someone to just, like, just give me something that works. These are strategies, that things that you're going to be learning inside of Empower when you get started. It works. If you, if you take action, right? If you actually implement, if you are an action taker, if you don't sit back, if you're not lazy, if you don't make excuses, but you just do and follow and use what has been given to you, you can get results as well. Maybe you want more sales. Sharika King was someone who she actually wasn't trying to recruit. She wanted to get product sales, new customers. So for some of you, you want to get new customers. So for her, she said, when I first joined Power, I joined so that it could help me with my MLM, but mainly to boost customer sales and not so much to recruit. I simply blog daily about things pertaining to my company. It's health and wellness. So I did those type of posts for 90 days. She was consistent. Right? She was an action taker. So for 90 days, following the things taught in Empower, I have since been getting customers for those products nonstop from the work I put in months ago. 
So those blog posts that she originally did because they're still out there, they're still generating her customers from blog posts that she did months ago. That is the power of blogging. Uh, maybe some of you have never generated a sale yet. Janelle Glenn was that same way. My first company, she said, I didn't earn a thing for two and a half years with the skills I'm learning and power. It got me earning checks. Courtney Carter said, I received an email saying someone signed up under me in my business and I don't even know them. This is the first time ever. So, of course, she got an auto, we call it an autopilot sale, meaning because of the marketing that she had out there online, because of what she learned in Empower, someone just signed up. She didn't even talk to the person. They got started right away and she said, I don't even know them. That's the power of online marketing. That is the power of doing blog posts and having them out there. That's the power of doing videos. I tell people all the time, my videos are like little clones of me. I have little Angela's out there working on my behalf right now. Right now, like somebody could watch a video right now of me while I'm on here. I'm in two places at once. That's leverage. That's freedom. Somebody could watch your video or read your blog post while you're on your job. That's leverage. That's now you being able to leverage your time. You can have your business building for you while you're on your full-time job. So by the time you get home, you already have leads for your business for that day. The question to you is, why are you doing this? Like, what's your why? Why are you building your home-based business? It's important for you to remember why you're doing it so you can keep it as a check of like, okay, this is why I started my business. Is this, am I going in that direction? Right, so for some of you, you want to make extra income. Maybe you want to pay off student loan debt or pay off credit card debt. Maybe you want to earn extra income to be able to, you know, you know, increase your 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 living, right? Expand your living. Maybe you wanted to get a bigger house. Maybe you want to be able to build a business so you can work anywhere from around the world. You want to be able to travel more and have the money to travel and the freedom to travel and not be stuck in a nine to five job to do it. Maybe you want to be able to spend more time with your family, right, and have that time freedom. Here's what I'm going to tell you what's so powerful about Empower. You can have each of those things now. You don't have to wait until you're a top leader in a company to experience freedom. You can have freedom from the moment you join Empower. Here's what I mean. Because we're teaching online marketing, because we're teaching videos and blogging, you can now have that working for you all hours of the night because people can watch a video any time of the day. People can read your blog post any time of the day. So I'll show you guys here. Someone actually went to my website and put in their email address to learn more about my business at 2.25 in the morning. Now, I don't know about you, but at 2.25 in the morning, I'm not up. I am asleep, and I'm in that deep sleep. I'm in that deep sleep where you're dreaming and you might be drooling on the pillow. I'm not up, right, prospecting. My video and my blogs are doing it for me. That's freedom. That's time freedom that you can have right away, now, not after you build a downline of 2,000 people, you can have it now. Here are some other leads that I got at like 1 o'clock in the morning. So that's the power of what we teach in Empower, and that's what you can experience inside of your business. For some of you, you got started in a business because you wanted to have more fun. That's what it was for me. I was in a job that I hated. I did not like the legal profession. I wanted to be able to help people. I, I, I love to train. I love to teach, if you haven't picked up on that. And so I wanted to build a business where I could do that, right? That I could do that. And I wanted to have fun, and I wanted to enjoy what I do. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Empower Network can bring the fun back into your business. I've already shown you the evidence and the proof of that. You saw Jacqueline Walter, who was in Arbonne, say, I, I actually like marketing now. Like, this is fun. Some of you hate marketing because of how you're being taught to do it. But the way that you're going to learn how to do it here from Empower's training to build your business, you'll get to talk about things that you love to talk about and incorporate that into your marketing. And not that when you start mastering marketing, when you start actually knowing like what to do and how to do it, you have frustrated so much. It's like some of you are just your day is spent frustrated, confused, overwhelmed because you don't know what to do and how to do it. And so when you finally are shown and given a a step-by-step a, a -step blueprint. It's like, oh my gosh, wow, I can do this. And then you do it and you start getting results and it becomes fun. See, some of you guys, if you remember, when you first learned how to like drive or you first learned an instrument, in the beginning it was hard, it was challenging, it was frustrating, you wanted to quit. You know, it was just, it wasn't enjoyable because you were, you were learning it, right? And it was hard. But once you mastered it, once you finally learned how to drive, once you finally learned how to play that sport or play that instrument, it became 
happen. And what I'm saying to you is that when you finally get access to Empower's training, when you sign up and you finally learn what to do and how to do it, I, I promise you, it may seem crazy for me to say this, marketing will become fun. Your business will become fun again. So here's what I'm going to show you guys. When you master what we teach here in Empower, there are going to be some times where you're going to have people who will go to your website and put in their email address to learn more about your business. And the same day that they do that, they sign up the same day. You see Sharice here, went to my website, put her email address on June 10th, and the same day signs up. Some of you guys started because you wanted to make more money, right? Because of Empower Training, Empower totally has changed my life. You guys saw at the beginning of tonight's training, um, I have never made that amount of money in one day online like you see on that screen. Never. Even when I was working at temp job, it used to take me working two weeks of 80, I mean, um, two weeks of 40 hour weeks to be able to make what I made in one day because of what I learned in Empower Networks training. That's life changing. Life changing. It blew my mind. Because again, I just didn't even think, that, like I said, I, I didn't think I could even rec recruit two people in a month, let alone make over $1,000 a day. Right? And I'm saying that for each and every one of you tonight, you have so much more potential in you than you think. I'm telling you, even if you're on the verge of quitting, the reason why I can say that with all confidence because I've been there and I had no clue. I had no clue that I could like be on stage speaking, like really, literally, because I had quit this industry. And some of you right now, if you don't quit, if you just invest in getting started and learning how to do stuff the right way, you can, you can do this. I have seen it not just with myself, but with so many other people. Some of you guys started in your home-based business. You know what your why was? You just want to be able to impact more lives. You want to be able to, 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 to help people and see people transform because on your job or you know whatever you're doing now for work, you don't touch people like that. You don't get to impact and speak into people's lives like that. And I'm telling you that with Empowers Training, with you being able to get massive exposure to get in front of people, and more people and be able to share your story and inspire them to do the same thing, we can teach you how to do that, to have more impact, to impact the lives of more people. When you start getting more results, your platform gets bigger. Like I showed you guys, you're going to be able to now be a top leader in your company and be able to speak on stage or on company calls. I think I've hosted like three or four company calls now. And you will have that ability to touch and impact people's lives. The cool thing is you can do it from day one when you get started and empower. As you start doing videos and blog posts, you'll get people who will comment on your videos or on your blog and say, thank you so much. Uh, you inspired me. I can't tell you how great that feels. I know some of you, um, I hear that from you guys. Some of you guys will email me or you'll leave a comment and say, Angela, I was going to quit my business, but I came across your video. Do you know that for me, that's what I wanted in my job, that job that I had, that temp job that was unstable, that temp job where every day when I showed up, I hated what I was doing. And I would go home at night and I would watch TV just so that I didn't have to keep thinking about how I had to get up the next day and go to work. That was my life. That was my existence before I learned what was an Empower, before I learned Empower's training. What Empower showed me how to do is how to reach people's lives, how to change people, how to impact them. And that's priceless for me. It makes me get up every single day, it makes me get up every day and see, wow, I'm making an impact. My life counts for something. That can show you how to do it. So if you're ready to have more exposure, more freedom, more money as a people, because now you've mastered this business and you can now lead other people and show them how to do the same thing, then I am excited to work with you. I'm excited to come alongside you to help you build your existing business and leverage the power of the internet. So I am starting the June 21 Day Lead Mastery Challenge. I do these challenges every month, and so I'm opening up June. The start of the June challenge will be this Monday, which I believe is June 6th. So if you want to be a part of the June 21 Day Challenge Group, you have to get started by 5 p.m. tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When you get started, if you click the link, there's a link below this video that says get started, and you click that link, that's for a $7 trial. And in that $7 trial, you're going to get access to my June 21-day challenge group that is starting this Monday, June 6th. Here's what you're going to get. You're not just going to sign up for something, and then now it's like, okay, figure it out on your own. Oh, I never hear from anybody. 
I'm a Lone Ranger. Now, here's what's going to happen. Immediately when you click that button below this video, you're going to get a welcome email from me. So give me until the end of this because I'm doing this now, right? But go ahead and get started. Sign up now. What I'm going to do is after I get off tonight's Hangout, which will be here in a few minutes here, uh, I'm going to, for those of you who are getting started and who are signing up, I'm going to send a welcome email. So just look out for a welcome email from me. In that email, there's going to be a link to my 21-day challenge group. I'm going to get you going right away get you plugged into that challenge group so that Monday when we start you're already in you're ready to roll and you're ready to take action and get results also in that welcome email there's gonna be a link for you to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me I know so many of you tell me like I signed up into this system I signed and I've never heard from anybody I was by myself you will get the link to my personal calendar to book a 30-minute call I do this with every single customer of mine that's why a lot of those people that you saw are getting results because they weren't neglected they actually <laughs> had support so what you're gonna get is a link to my calendar so you can book a 30-minute call with me and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over your business plan right so we're gonna give you so I give you the um, I'll, I'll ask you what your monthly income goal is to hit for your business we'll go through your company's compensation plan we'll figure out how many leads you need to generate so that way when you hit the 21 day challenge on Monday you know your numbers that you need to hit right so that's what we're gonna do and that's what you're gonna get in the welcome email I make myself available why because I want people to get results um, you're gonna get daily assignments so the 21 day challenge is designed to teach you Facebook video marketing and blogging but teach you in bite-sized step-by-step day-by-day assignments I can't tell you how many people I've had who are like oh my gosh Angela thank you so much for creating this this is like what I've always wanted because I've always joined these systems and these trainings and like I just get bombarded with all these training and I didn't know where to start or where to begin but I wanted like a day-to-day step-by-step just tell me what to do and do it in steps walk me through it give me tutorial videos and that's what the 21 day challenge is so every day you get a daily assignment and you're getting shown step-by-step step. I've even built in catch-up days because I understand that a lot of you are not full-time yet you have a full-time job and so Time is very valuable and you don't have lots of it. So what I've done is I built a, a catch up day. There's two catch up days. What the catch up day is, is like if you get behind, you know how sometimes life happens and you get behind. I built in two catch up I mean, Facebook marketing, video marketing, blogging. I'm not throwing it all at you at once and saying, okay, do it all. Nope. First thing you're going to learn is Facebook marketing. You're going to watch the training, and then now you're going to do Facebook. I get you used to doing Facebook and getting comfortable with that for a couple of days, and then we add on video. And throughout the challenge, you're getting feedback from day one, day one's assignment. I'm having you email me your assignment and get feedback from the first day. That is why people are getting results because for the first time ever, they actually have a step-by-step plan and daily assignments but they also get feedback and they also get support so they're not left hanging right I have a lot of people in the group who are brand new to online marketing like for example I had a, a woman who um, she followed the training she was doing her Facebook fan page and she didn't know how to change like the big picture at the top of her fan page so I was able to hop on a Google Hangout and show her like here's how to change the picture like I have people who have a wide range of experience online majority of people have never done any blogging or online marketing before ever they have some people who have done some like Facebook marketing but they haven't gotten any results right so we have a wide range of people and you'll get access to a Facebook group where everybody is there people who are in Mary Kay it works Beachbody um, uh, what else what else what else uh, total life changes package to travel world ventures all in this group so you guys can kind of you know see each other and see what they're doing also you get told what to post on what day and you're gonna get examples of what to post so some of you guys who have been doing Facebook you're gonna love like that's the Facebook marketing part of the challenge is probably everybody's favorite um, and that's the one that they enjoy the most and they have the, the most fun so let me give you guys some results like okay has this been, has this challenge been working for people so I'm always excited to share this because I'm excited about adding your name to these slides like I'm so excited about you getting started so that now I can add your results from the results that you'll get from the 21 day challenge but let me share with you guys Jason was in my um, April challenge group okay like he was just in the April group and he's a vacation travel and so he was marketing the opportunity because you have an option um, what I recommend people do is pick either a product to market for the 21 day challenge or the opportunity 
and just do one or the other for the first 21 days and then get that going, get leads, start getting results from that and you can now for the business. I find that it makes it easier. Like I was talking to the woman who's in Beachbody today and she's like, oh my gosh, thank you. This is why I signed up with you because she was like, I was going to try both at the same time and you were right. It been overwhelming. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Like, right? Because it, I'm a marketer too. Like I'm a business owner. Like I'm out here too and I know how overwhelming it could be every at you and say, I don't know what to do. And you're trying to do all of this and you're overwhelmed and you're not getting your results. So Jason decided to market the business for picking and travel. And instead of a Facebook fan page, he started getting likes to his fan page every day. He said, the thing I've enjoyed most so far is watching the likes to my fan page grow daily. Some of you guys have a Facebook fan page and you're not getting any engagement, you're not getting any likes, comments, or shares. And he's been able to get likes to his fan page. Okay. He said, at the end of the challenge, he's like, I've enjoyed this 21-day challenge, and this time I learned a lot about using social media to increase my exposure. The fan page I've had has had over 260 likes. My boosted post has had over seven responses, meaning he's had seven leads. Creating the videos has been a great experience, definitely a confidence booster. Now, let me give you the, the now the updated results. So after uh, Jason posted this post here, I did a wrap-up call with him because I wanted to get on the phone with him and show him how he can scale his results and get more, right? So it's not like, hey, you're on your own and you do the twin challenge on your own. But it, not only are you getting feedback throughout the challenge, but at the end, if you've actually taken action and gotten some results, I would do a call and say, okay, here's how we take it to another level. So I got on the call with Jason to kind of see what his final results were. And now he's at 861 likes to his fan page. So in a matter of like 30 days, I think it's been just a little bit over 30 days, He's gotten over 861 likes to his fan page. But you say, okay, likes is cool, whatever, but what happened in his business? He got 15 people inboxing him about his business opportunity from his fan page because of what he learned in the challenge. So in 21 to 30 days, he's gotten 15 people inboxing him about his business. Of those 15 people, seven of them went to his website to, to learn more about his business. Of those seven, he was able to do two three-way calls with his upline, all from what he learned in the challenge. And oh, by the way, he was marketing his business, Pickation Travel. He did not mention or promote anything about Empower Network because that's what the focus of the challenge is. So I'm so excited if you can't tell because I love helping people get results. Okay, Catherine Gage. I talked about her earlier, but here's the story behind Catherine. Catherine's a Mary Kay rep. She was in Facebook marketing before she joined and before she got started in Empower. She had a Facebook fan page. She was spending $50 to $100 but had not gotten a single sale. I did a numeral call with her, right? So she got started. She clicked on the link that you guys see right there below this video. She clicked on it, signed up. Did she? I sent her the new member welcome email. She booked her time with me. She booked her call with me, and she got on the call. She's like, "And I'm so frustrated. I've been trying to do Facebook marketing. I spent fifty to hundred dollars. I just want something to work. I don't know. I'm just ready for something to work. I'm just so frustrated." I said, "Catherine, <laughs> what do you want to market? What do you want to sell?" She said, "I want to sell the skincare product." I said, "Great, awesome." So I said, for the 21-day challenge, that's what I want you to focus on. And she said, okay. And I said, what you're going to do, because you, you already are doing some Facebook, but it's not working. I said, you're going to really love the Facebook part of the challenge. That's day six. So when you get to day six, here's what I want you to do. I said, let me see your Facebook fan page. So I looked at her Facebook fan page. I knew immediately what she was doing wrong. Some of you guys just need someone to actually review what you're doing. So for a lot of you, when you get started, for the first time ever, you're going to actually have that support to have someone to like look at what you're doing and say, oh, you just need to tweak this. Because that's, that's the only thing that you're missing. Right, so for those of you who are deciding to get started, that is what you get. So Catherine, I looked at her fan page, I realized, no, it's too promotional. So I said, okay, if you're gonna market a skincare product line, here's what I want you to name your Facebook fan page. I didn't expect her to do it right away because she hadn't even started day one, but Catherine is an action taker. See, the people who get results from the 21 day challenge, from my challenge, they don't, they don't make excuses. Like they just do what they're told to do and they take action. So Catherine, get off the phone with me. And I was thinking she was going to wait till she get to day six of the challenge. No, no, no. She <laughs> did her fan page. She did exactly what I told her to do and she got a customer within two days of talking to me. Here's what she posted in our 21 day challenge group. I'm so excited. After talking to Angela Tyson on our marketing consultation call, I took her advice and created a new fan page, Love Your Skin, and I have one new customer who has signed up to be my customer. Wow. The proof is in the pudding. Some of you may want more leads. 
I have Jacqueline Walter. You guys saw she was in Arbonne. What she discovered is that she, her passion, her true passion is helping teenage girls. So she decided, was really excited with Jacqueline's story, she decided to launch her own business, her own coaching business, coaching teenage girls how to have more self-esteem um, and really discover their purpose. So it's been great to see Jacqueline's transition to really figuring out the best business for her. So she's not even marketing. She's not a marketing empowerment network. She's not even marketing a home-based business. She's marketing her own business, and it's a coaching business. And she's using the 21-day challenge because it's just marketing. We're just teaching you how to market anything. It doesn't matter what you're marketing. She's marketing teenage coaching business. And so she wanted to get leads because she wanted to – start getting some coaching clients, but also she wanted to build a list of teenage girls because she's um, planning on releasing a book, um, I believe later this year or next year, and so she wanted to build a list and build a following of teenage girls so that when she releases her book, she can get sales. So here's what happened with Jacqueline. She said, yay, so about an hour ago, I got my first lead from my sponsor post that I set up yesterday. Teenage girls signed up on my list through my capture page. So she was able to start attracting leads for one day challenge. Some of you want more need more exposure. So Karen, because of what she learned in the challenge, has been able to reach over a thousand people with her Facebook fan page, and she's gotten over a hundred likes. Jacqueline Walter, let's go back to her. She applied the video marketing training that's in the 21 Day Challenge. She's like, oh my gosh, guys, my video I did just two days ago is now in the number one spot on YouTube for the keyword "I Heart Girl." It's so exciting! It's also number four on Google. So now when people are searching for that, they're finding her. And she learned how to do that from the 21 Day Challenge. Also, she's getting more engagement on her fan page. She said, sharing other people's posts really gets you likes on your fan page. I shared a few things from a fan page I like, and the owner of that fan page followed me. I received five likes in the past 24 hours, and I got my first like on one of my pre-scheduled posts for today. How exciting. Let me break that down. So she said one of her pre-scheduled posts. What I'm teaching you guys how to do in the Facebook marketing part of this challenge is how to automate some of your marketing. How to like pre-schedule your posts because I understand that you guys have a life and you have a busy life. You have a full-time job. You have family that you want to see and kids that you maybe you want to spend time with if you have kids. And so you're not trying to spend all day, all night marketing. So you're going to be learning some automated strategies. How to now automate your posts on Facebook. How to pre-schedule them. And what Jacqueline was saying in her uh, post there is that she got likes right on her pre-scheduled post so while she was out living her life people were seeing her post and they were liking and commenting and engaging on it so here's the deal for those of you who are like I'm ready to get started I'm ready to be a part of this June challenge which starts Monday June 6 you need to get started with the seven it's a seven dollar trial you guys 14 day trial seven dollars to get started so you can finally get the support that you need seven bucks to get started on the 14 day trial so you want to click the link scroll down click the link below this video so that you can get started I know some of you have already already joined so I want to welcome all of you that just got started um, I'm about to wrap this up so watch your inbox tonight for an email from me so that way you can uh, get plugged into the challenge group and to get started on your uh, get, get your book your um, phone call with me. Again, I want to mention this is a 14-day money-back guarantee. So even with a $7 14-day trial, if you ever reason get started and you're like, eh, this is not my cup of tea, eh, this is not for me, you can get your money back, even this, the, the whole seven bucks that you spent, right? We're making this really no risk for you to get started and, and, and get going here. Um, common questions that I get is, okay, what if I've never blogged before, right? Like, I'm not technically savvy. How can this work for someone like me? Sandra Clinton, somebody who's in Mary Kay, had never done you know, online marketing. And so here's what she posted after she did her new member call with me. She said, wow, wow, wow. This is the second time you called and gave me all the advice that I needed. Besides the advice, you gave me the affirmations to get started and get busy. Your spirit is amazing. You are just amazing the way you handle your business. And yes, the way you handle me who's challenged by technology. I tell people all the time in my challenge group, ask questions. I don't want you being stuck or feeling stuck or feeling overwhelmed. That's the whole point of the Facebook group. I want you to post your questions in there because I'm, I'm going in and I'm answering these questions for people. And I, it's so funny, uh, Karen, who you saw a couple of slides ago, she used to always say, Angela, I got, I got another question. I said, great. You got questions, I got answers. Because my thing is I have no problem helping people who have questions because here's what I know. I know that if you have a question, you're actually taking action and you're the type of person that I want to work with and you're the type of person that I want to help and get your question answered so you can get results because you're actually trying to do the work. So 
you will get the answers that you need. Um, even if this is like brand new to you. What you're gonna love about the 21 Day Challenge is that there are video tutorials where I'm walking you through how to do things. And even if after that you still have a question, you can post it in the challenge group and I'm going in every day and I'm answering people's questions. Right? It could be like, I don't know what to name my blog. Like I'm kinda like, I don't know, I wanna market this product and I'm giving people ideas. And they're like, oh my gosh, thank you. Like that's the type of stuff that <laughs> that we're doing. That's the reason why people are getting results because they're finally getting support. So let me give you here. Let me show you how easy it is to blog, right? I just want to show you a sneak peek at the Empower Network blog, so you can kind of see what you're getting, right? Because for some of you, it's easy for me to be like, oh no, it's easy to blog if you've ever sent an email before, or if you've ever written a resume on your computer, you can blog. It's better that I show you, right? I want to just show you what it looks like because I'm big on showing you and not just telling you. So let me log in here to to the Empower blog so you can kind of see how easy it is because what I love about Empower's blog is they made it easy for people who have never blogged before because it's built and designed for people like you. Um, even if you're like, I don't even know, like I don't, I'm not a good writer. Like I hate to write. So even if you don't like writing, um, what I've done is I'll do videos because I hate to write. I, I've done enough writing when I was going through law school and when I was going through college I'm like, I'm not trying to write a paper no more. I'm not trying to write. So what I do is I do videos. If you don't like videos, but you love to do audio, like you blog. So um, that show you here. Let me go in here and show you. Let me share my screen. You're going to actually be able to see the Empower blog. In which you get. So here's the, the blogging platform here. It's pulling up. Oh, let me see here. I got a couple people. Hi, Deborah and Dot. Hi, Dot. Um, so let me, okay, so here it is. Here's how the blog looks, okay? So what's great about Empower is they have a video that walks you through it. Because some, some people ask me all the time, like, is there going to be a video? Because I just, I need this. I'm a visual person. I need to see, like, how to set stuff up. So is there a video? Yes. Here, they, here it is right here. <laughs> And what I love about Empower, too, is they have a support. Empower just has a support group. So not only are you getting support from the 20 Day Challenge from me, like from your marketing, like um, what do I name my blog? What type of blog post should I make for my company or for my product? Like that's the support that I give. But if there's like any technical stuff like, hey, there's this picture on my blog that I, I'm trying to get rid of. I don't know how to get rid of it. You can Empower has a Facebook group called the Kalatu. The name of our blog is Kalatu. They have a support group. For those kind of questions like I've seen people ask the question like hey I'm trying to remove this thing on my blog how do I do that and they have empower has hired people to to answer those kind of questions so if you have any like technical question um, or like hey how do I find out how to like change the title on my blog like that's where you'll ask it in the Kalatu support group for me for the 21 day challenge if you're like hey I'm just curious, how do I, what should be the name of my blog or what direction should I go in? That's what you ask for me. So we got all bases covered. But let me show you here the actual, like how you make a post and how easy and simple it is. So right here, if you click add new, this is how the blogging platform looks like. I said, the video will walk you through, and in my 21 day challenge, I'm walking you through how to do your blog, how to do all of that. But I just want to show you how it is. So it looks very similar to like Gmail, like for email. This is where you will put the title of your blog. This is where you will start putting the blog, writing the blog. So if you like to write, you can write. If you like doing videos, I'm teaching you how to do video blogs for the 21 Day Challenge. It's faster, it's easier. Um, that's what I'm, I'm having you guys do. Even if you're scared, you know, there's short video. I'm getting you out of that, out of your comfort zone, right? And you could do videos where people don't see your face, but they could just they just see your, they hear your, they see your computer screen, they and they hear your voice. So we can do that. Uh, but here's what I want to show you. This is what what sets our blog apart from all the others. Is that let's say you sit down and you're clueless, like you, like I don't know what to blog about, which won't be the a challenge because with the 21 day challenge that I have, I give you examples of what to blog about. But let's just say you, you just don't know what to blog about. You can click this little orange button and it will give you an idea. So you click, give me an idea. So it says, find a YouTube video or a TED talk that you like and share it with your with your own comments. So you your company may have a, a video, a YouTube video. 
And now Kalatu just gave you an idea of what to blog about. Find a YouTube video that maybe talks about your product or talks about your opportunity. And now, okay, great. That's an idea. Maybe you say, no, I don't like that idea. Give me another idea. It says take a survey. Find out more about your readers. Set up a survey. And you can create a research survey for your business. What products do you use? Okay. So that's an example for those of you who maybe as you start getting more um, readers for your blog, you can do a survey. That's an idea. You say, oh, I don't like that idea. Give me another idea. Lessons learned in tough times. Write about a challenging time or circumstance you succeeded in spite of and how you got through it. So for how you apply that for your business is talk about a hard time that you had in your business. So what do you mean by that? If you're honest, if people can see that like, wow, you're not just always trying to sell me something and you're not always trying to paint this beautiful picture of how amazing it is to work from home, but you also, you, you tell me your challenge. Like, you know, I'm working my home-based business and I'm holding down a full-time job and you know what? In the beginning, it was challenging, but here's what I've learned. Here's how I'm now handling both. And if you get started with me, I really can help you and work with you as you now are building your business part time on the side while working a full time job. I can show you, I can help you kind of manage that. The idea came from this blog, right? The great thing also about the blog is that let's say you're just not a good writer. Like, you're like, I, I, I'm not a good writer. I don't know how to come up with like creative titles and all this stuff. Kalatu, our blog, has you covered because you can just click the little orange button here and say, give me a headline. So it says, enter the topic you want to blog about. And in the box it says, enter your subject. So let's say you do know what you want to talk about, but you're just not good at like coming up with like catchy words or whatever. You know, you know, like you're just new to this. We understand that. That's why we built this smart blogging platform to help you. So let's say that... Um, I'm talking about travel. Let's say I'm in a travel company and I'm marketing the travel service, like getting customers for the travel service. So I'll just type in travel. That's the subject I want to talk about. And let's just see. It. It'll give you, it'll give me headline ideas, title ideas for my blog. So let's just see what they come up with. What I learned from travel. Okay, that's something to start with. Maybe I, maybe let's say, like for example, I have a, a young lady who is in World Ventures and she just went to Dubai for World Ventures. If she saw this, what she could do is she could say, what I learned from traveling in Dubai two months ago. Something like that, right? I was like, okay, give me another headline. How to get better at travel without spending hours studying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could tweak that a little, right? So how to get better at travel without spending a lot of money or something. How to, how to travel without spending lots of money. So a lot of this, take and get some ideas and, and really fit it towards what you're, what you're um, blogging about, right? So I'm just kind of showing you uh, little known secrets that will change the way you think about travel. Now that, you can take that right away. And here's what's so cool about this. You can click perfect, I'll write about this, and it'll put it up here for you. Isn't that cool? So that's what I just wanted to show you guys, how simple it is, how the blogging platform looks. Because, you know, for those of you who haven't signed up yet, I wanted you to see it. Because I'm the type of person that, you know, yeah, you can tell people all day, you can, you know, you can tell people, oh, it's easy and simple, but I'd rather show it to you and you see it for yourself. And like I said, there are going to be videos that will walk you through how to, you know, how to do, all, you know, how to write your blog post here, how to publish it. But we talk about all of that, and I have videos where I show you how to do all of that. But I just wanted you to see how the platform actually looks. Okay, so that's for those of you who had that question of like, can someone who's brand new to this, who's never had experience in this, can can they do this? Yes, you can, because we built the blogging platform specifically for people like you. If you didn't know what to write about, we give you the topics, right? I showed you that. If you know what to write about, but you're like, I don't know how to like put it in a catchy title or a headline, well, we show you. We, we'll give you a headline. Um, another question I get is, is this compliant with my company? I know a lot of you guys are in a company where they don't want you promoting another company along with their company. The great thing about the 21 Day Challenge and how I coach people is that I'm not having you promote Empower Network. So there's going to be nothing in your funnel that, or, that talks about Empower Network at all. So with the 21 Day Challenge, what we're doing is we're teaching you how to do Facebook, blogging, and video marketing. And in your videos, your blogs, you're not talking about Empower Network. You're not mentioning Empower Network at all. You're talking about your company. And then there's going to be a website that people will go to where they'll put in their email address. And when they do, they're going to be taken to a video on your company. Yes. Also on your blog, there won't be anything talking about Empower Network. There's no 
logos of Empower. There's no pictures of Empower. There's no mention of Empower whatsoever. So let me give you guys an example. Here's a lady who was in uh, Organo Gold, and she created a blog with us. And let me show you here. Let me see if it's pulling up here. Okay, here. If you notice, there is nothing about Empower Network on here. You can customize your blog. We, like I said, we built our blogging platform for people who are in network marketing companies. And we understand that you're, a lot of you are in companies where you're not supposed to market anything other than, you're not supposed to market another business on, alongside your company. So we built these blogs so that you can customize them. So you see here, she has a banner. Here, it takes people to her Organo Gold business page. So that's something that you can do. So I just wanted to show you here that you can customize your blog so that it has nothing to do or not talking about Empower at all. Um, another common question that I get asked is, um, what about if I'm in a company that's kind of restrictive about what I can market and what I can say in my market, uh, marketing? Mary Kay is one of those companies. Um, what I recommend that you do is you do Facebook marketing um, and you generate leads that way. I know a lot of Mary Kay reps who are doing Facebook marketing, so the great thing about the 21 Day Challenge is that you can learn how to do you know, Facebook marketing to generate sales and customers for your business. Um, I showed you the example of Catherine uh, Gage, who was someone who was able to um, get results for her Mary Kay business and get customers using the Facebook marketing. Okay. Um, another question I get is like, what do I blog about? Like, I, I kind of understand this whole idea of blogging, but I don't get how blogging can actually get me more sales, more customers, or more distributors in my business. Like, what kind of blog post am I going to be doing that's going to help people like join? So that's where I come in, right? Like I said, Empower is going to have you covered when it comes to like the technical questions that you may have. Like, how do I change this thing on my blog? Or, hey, I don't like how that looks. I want to change this color. Like, their, their Facebook group will help. Like, they have hired people to help you do that. My role is to show you how to blog, how to market, so that you can get sales and get results for your business. So here are some common things that you're going to be blogging about throughout the 21 Day Challenge. Number one, what you're learning. Like I said, the whole purpose of this challenge is to build your value. Um, you guys saw, I mentioned earlier, Jason, the guy who lives in Vacation Travel, who got over 800 likes to his fan page, who got over 15 people inboxing him about his business. He, that's a result that he can now sell. Based on that strategy I shared with you guys tonight about sell your last result, the whole point of this challenge is for you to get results so that now you can go right back out there and now you can position yourself as a leader for people to want to join because now you can show them how to do Facebook, how to do everything that you learned in the challenge, and you can now show them that, hey, if you partner with me, I can, I can guide you to success because I've gotten results too. That's the whole point. So you can blog about what you're learning. Blog about how you now know how to market your business online and how you can show them how to do it. Um, the other thing that you can talk about is the connections and the relationships that you're building in your business. A lot of you have, your company has have events. I tell people all the time, a lot of you guys are like, I'm scared to get on video. So guess what? You to go on video. So here's an idea, and this is something that you can do. Uh, the next company event that you have, take your video. Like, take your, uh, you have a smartphone. If you have a camera on your smartphone, and you can interview people who are at your company event. This is huge. So what you do is you interview people. You ask them, hey, you know, where are you coming from? What city are you coming from? What country are you coming from? And why did you join this company? And what would be your advice for people who are thinking about joining? Guess what? You say, hey, you mind if I share this and promote this on the blog and, and send some people to it and give you exposure to? Like that's, you know, and they say, oh, yeah, sure, sure. Guess what? You put that video on your blog, following the instructions that we teach teach you in the 21 day challenge and now you can send that out to people who are on your email list who haven't joined yet and guess what you didn't show up in the video you don't have to be on camera you could, they could just hear you asking the question or you could be on camera and now you're not doing the talking you're just asking the question and letting the person talk and recruit people for you because here's what's so great about this they're just there to kind of add that extra support to add that extra social proof and that's something that we teach you how to do inside of uh, the blogging challenge. If those of you who are marketing a, like maybe say for example, a travel service, that young lady that I was telling you about who was in World, World Ventures who went to Dubai, she joined and got started in the 21 Day Challenge before she left for Dubai. And I was able to advise her and tell her, hey, while you're there, take, take ton of pictures and take a lot of videos because what we can do when you get back 
is now take those pictures and now market to people who are already searching for uh, Dubai travel packages and now let's get you some travel customers. All you're doing, all she's going to do is just share pictures and videos of her fun in Dubai and get customers and then from there be able to now recruit and tell people that are thinking about joining World Ventures, hey, like look, I got customers I made money just from traveling and sharing my pictures and videos and I'll show you how to do the same thing. That's what we teach inside of the 21 Day Challenge. Other things that you can blog about is the challenges and struggles that, you're, that you've overcome in your business. So like I said, when you're real with people, uh, I can't tell you how many people I've had who say, Angela, you know, I decided to partner with you because you just seem genuine. You know, I just, I trusted you. And the reason why they trust me is because I don't just tell people the, the good side. I tell them, hey, this is what was challenging for me. Here's what I had to overcome. And when you could talk about that, you appear real because you are real. Because we know, you guys know, um, you get emails from people who, like, all they do is talk about the success that they've had, but they don't talk about their failures or they don't talk about things that they're struggling with right now. And if you do that, people are going to realize, like, you know what, I, I kind of like him. I like her because... I can trust her, like she's being real, he's being real. That's what we're going to teach you how to do. That's one of the things that Empower is really, really, um, really advocate for, is advocate for, is helping people become more honest marketers and, and bring more honest marketers to this industry because a lot of people are trying to fake it until they make it and they try to front and profile and act like they big hot shots. What we do is we know how to take somebody who's brand new, even when they're struggling, teach them how to get results and teach them how to be real and share and be authentic and be honest about their journey and still get results. And that's what I love about what we're doing inside of Empower is we're teaching people how to be honest marketers and be authentic and be who they really are and be themselves and still get results. The other thing that you'll be blogging about is your results because as you're going through the challenge, you'll be getting results and you can now mark, talk about that and blog about that and show people that, hey, they partner with you, you can help them do the same thing. And last but not least, you can also blog about the results that you and your team and your leadership is getting. So. I, that probably answered a lot of everybody's questions. I know those are the common questions that I get. So I'm going to sign off by just saying this. Those of you who are ready to run, you're ready to get a day-by-day -day action plan to build your existing business, and you're ready to be a part of the 21-day uh, challenge group that's all focused on helping you generate leads, and you want to be a part of that June group, you need to get started by uh, 5 p.m. tomorrow. I will be closing down the 21 day challenge group for June and so um, that will be the cutoff date and, and so after that if you get started um, like I said I'll be doing another one in July so you'll just be on the wait list for the July group I like starting everybody all at the same time I find that that works best people get the most results that way and they're more accountable because they know okay I gotta get this done because you know the challenge is going to end and we're all in at the same time and they see everybody else going through it so that's why I decided to do it that way because so there's a start an open date and a close date for the, the June group so if you wanted to ever work with me um, and you want to get things going now because we're halfway through the year and you're ready to like get some things in motion so that by the end of this year you can be full time in your business now's the time to get started and I made it really really easy um, I know for a lot of you you're not at the income goal that you want to be yet so $7 <laughs> is something that anybody, literally anybody can afford, even for the trial. It's like get in and get the support. Like I had a young lady, I did a, a marketing strategy call with her today, right? She just signed up. She's in Beachbody. She was like, Angela, just the 30-minute call with you has been amazing. Some of you... Even if you're like, I don't even, like, I don't know if I if can I afford it after the trial. Guess what? Get in. Like for me, it was like, look, I just need some direction, man. <laughs> like, like show me what I need to do so that I can go hard for this for during my trial, so I can get the money to afford after the trial. Some of you, even just getting the seven dollars just to get access to someone to get me on the phone to be like, okay, here's what you need to do. Here's and like Catherine, right? For example, when we did her call. I wasn't anticipating reviewing Facebook because she hadn't gotten to that part of the challenge yet, but I heard what she said she was doing and she wasn't getting results with. So I was able to take a look and see, oh, okay, that's why you're not getting results. Here's what you need to fix. She made that change right away and got her first customer, and it was a $90 product. So she had already made her money back from just that one change. Now, am I saying, am I guaranteeing that's going to happen for you? I don't, like, I can't because I don't know, number one, if you're going to be asked to take it like Karen, I don't know if you guys 
uh, Kathleen, I mean, I'm sorry, Kathleen, if you didn't see her story, when she said she got her customer, she was like, oh, and by the way, y'all pray for me because I'm going through, I have an upper respiratory infection. She was sick and she was still going through the challenge. Now, I'd recommend that you take care of your health, but again, I don't, I can't, I don't know what your level of action taking is going to be. But here's what I can tell you. I know that I'm consistent and I know that I follow through with my word. So those who book a time with me, I will call you <laughs> and I will tell you and advise you what to do. I don't know what you're going to do with it. But here's what I know. The people who have, they've gotten amazing results. And I'm hungry for more results. My goal is to have some people from the June group have some amazing results so I can add them to my growing list of slides here. I may have to, like, I may start doing, this was like, what, an hour and a half? My goal is to be able to, like, I may be on for three hours just telling stories of people from the 21 Day Challenge group, and I will be on. Now, you guys may not be on. You might say, okay, I'm tired. I'm about to sign off. But my goal is to have so many success stories that I couldn't even get them all in one day. It's your decision if you want one of those success stories to be you. Get started for $7 tonight for the 14-day trial, and I look forward to helping you in our June 21-day challenge group. With that being said, have an amazing night. And for those of you who've gotten started, I'm going to get that welcome email out to each and every one of you so I can get you plugged in. And so that way, the goal is for you to be able to book your, um, your phone strategy session with me probably no, no later than Monday. So that way, you're in the group, you're ready for Monday, and you've already booked your time for me by, with me by Monday. So I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Have an amazing night, you guys. Bye.